Welcome to my lecture online. Here our next problem we have two cars, let's label them A and B, who are driving away from each other but not directly away from each other. They're offset by 3,000 feet. They're currently 4,000 feet in the north-south direction away from each other. Car A is driving 40 feet per second in the northerly direction. Car B is driving 60 feet per second in the southerly direction. And at the moment that they're 5,000 feet apart, because we can calculate the 5,000 feet from using Pythagorean Theorem, we want to figure out how fast the distance between them is changing at that very moment in time. Alright, the way to do that is we need to find the relationship between the sides and the hypotenuse. Let's call this side A, and let's call this side B. And so what we could say is we could say that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Of course, we could use the variable y for the vertical direction, and we can use the variable x. So in this case, we can say a would be uh, y squared plus x squared is equal to c squared. So we could also write it like that. Okay, what we want to do now is uh, take the derivative of both sides which, with respect to time so that we can find dc dt in there. So let's do that. The d dt of the left side is equal to the ddt of the right side. So this gives us 2y dy dt plus 2x dx dt is equal to 2c times dc dt. So right away we can see here that there's no movement in the horizontal direction or the x direction. That means that the x dt must be equal zero. There's only movement in the y direction, so we only have a dy dt. So that means that this term disappears, this is equal to zero, and we can also see that both sides of the equation can be divided by two, so the twos disappear, which means that we have y dy dt is equal to c times dc dt. And since we're looking for dc dt, we can write that dc dt is equal to y over c times dy dt. All right, let's plug in what we know. Y, that would be the separation distance in this direction, is 4,000 feet. C is the diagonal distance between the two objects, which is 5,000 feet. And now the change in Y with respect to time. We're looking for the change in the distance between the A and B in the Y direction. Now, since this is going this direction 40 feet per second, this is 60 feet per second, we add the two together, that's a separation distance increasing at 80 feet per second, in the, uh, not 80, but 100 feet per second in the y direction, so dy dt is 100 feet per second. So the feet cancel out here, the zeros cancel out here, so we have 4 fifths times 100, that would be 80. So the change, separation distance in the in diagonal direction, it's going to be 80 feet per second. Now that's kind of a surprising result because we know that in this direction, they're separating at 100 feet per second along the diagonal, it's only 80 feet per second. The reason for that, of course, is there's no change in distance in the horizontal direction. So that's the result. The distance between A and B is changing at 80 feet per second, which is less than the change in the y direction or the vertical direction and that's how it's done.